So last week when I was given a little tour of the shop, we took a look in the room there and on the kiosk, it's a piece of furniture I have in there, was this bag and it was funny because I didn't really notice it until after I launched the video then I thought to myself, geez, that looks a little um, odd or something. And of course, that's what all the comments were. I think the funniest one was, uh, that's definitely a huge felony sized bag of weed, but it's not, it's beeswax. And I thought I'd just clear that up right away before I have the cops at the barn door here. So let's go upstairs. I'll show you what that bag looks like. I'll just spill it out on the table and then I'll tell you what I do with the beeswax. So this is the suspicious looking bag and it definitely does look a little suspicious, but it's just beeswax. Earlier this year, my son Michael and I processed the honey and the way you process honey from a top bar hive is you do something called crush and strain. So you take your honeycomb that's filled with honey and you crush it in a, a large bowl or a plastic bucket. And then you pour that mixture through a paint strainer and in one end you get honey and the other end you're left with all of this beeswax. And so generally what I like to do with this beeswax, I haven't done it yet, is to try to make paint with it. And there's a, an ancient art medium, it goes all the way back to Egyptian times, called encaustic. And I've made encaustic with beeswax that I've bought because it's a filtered beeswax. It has an, it's almost completely translucent. Whenever I've tried to um, process my beeswax, I always end up with something that's uh, a little bit more tan or brown. So what I'm going for with the beeswax and why I'm saving it is uh, the hope is to make encaustic art medium. And that's what this is. Encaustic is, it's basically beeswax, um, paint pigments, and Damar crystals. Damar crystals, Damar crystals are basically um, sap from a fir tree, I think in, in India. And you heat this whole mixture up to about uh, 200 degrees and you're left with your paint. So that's what got me into uh, beekeeping in the first place. But I thought I'd just talk about this for a quick minute because I wanted to clear up the, the bag of weed thing because uh, it's funny, it definitely has a suspicious look to it, but uh, it's just beeswax. All right, I'll see you on Friday.